What's up, y'all? It's your guy, eBay Fight Producers in the building. And this is your Paulo Costa versus Robert Whitaker break down at UFC 298 in the co-main event. I love this fight. I really, really do. I mean, you know what's crazy about this fight? It's been booked three fucking times. <laughs> it's fucking wild. But uh, I remember, what, dude, 2021, I was talking about this fight. I was making breakdowns for this fight. And it's just never flourished. So, you know you know what they say, third time's the charm. I remember they were booked. I forgot for what fight night. But um, it was one of those Apex cars, one of those Vegas cars. And uh, Kelvin Gaslam ended up taking uh, taking the short notice fight with uh, Robert Whitaker. Uh, then they were booked a Again, uh, for UFC 284 uh, on the Australia card with Volk and Islam for the first fight. And then, you know, you already know th there's been a weird, like, kind of, uh, what's the word, pattern from the UFC for, I guess, announcing fights that haven't been signed on contract. And that's basically what happened there. And it seems like that was the catalyst of this weird pattern that it started. We saw with Ben St. Denis and Dustin Poirier. And we saw, obviously, with Costa and Whitaker. And now we're here and we're a week away i'm i hopefully i get to see this live because it's a great fucking middleweight scrap i mean robert whitaker versus paulo costa is a phenomenal fight and you guys know how much i love robert whitaker right <laughs> so you know hey man if the mma guys want to bless you boy man uh, first, let me see this match and let me see Paulo Costa destroy Robert Whitaker. And that's how I want to start this fight, man. Um, I, that's how I kind of see it going. I, I, I think, I mean, okay. Do I think Paulo Costa is this fucking magician? Do I think he's this king uh, of the middleweights? No, I don't think he has the same aura that he did in uh, 2019. But um, here's the thing. I, I think Robert Whitaker is past it he has no chin this is like the roy, roy jones thing man like okay listen 33 years old isn't bad he's still in his prime and obviously costs 32 but listen to this i can count this out and i think i've said it in almost all of <laughs> every robert whitaker breakdown i've done since his yoel romero fight he's been knocked down he got knocked down twice in that fight then he got knocked down twice Against Ada signing the first time, right? So there's four knockdowns in two fights. He's been knocked out against Jared Kitt. No, not Jared Kitt. Knocked out against Darren Till. It's five. He got rocked against Jared Kitt in here. Flawless performance against Kelvin Gaslam. But he got dropped again in the second Ada signing fight. So that's seven. And then another flawless performance against Martin Vittori. And obviously we know what happened against Turkish Triplett. So that's eight motherfucking knockdowns. All right, that's eight motherfucking knockdowns. And how many fights? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fights, all right? He's been knocked out eight times in eight fights, right? In the span of eight fights. So that's very kind of crazy, all right? It's kind of crazy. And that chin has got to go. Now, is, is Paulo Costa a knockout artist? No, he's obviously a volume power puncher. But he still hits hard, and he can still finish people. And... I saw Drickus Duplass break Robert Whitaker, bro. I saw him break him down, bro. Break him down and destroy that man uh, in two rounds. And Paulo Costa is the same kind of Hulk, kind of uh, offensively based fighter that just walks you down and breaks you down. Uh, now, Paulo Costa hasn't looked like himself, in the, especially the last three fights, in my humble opinion. I mean, um, against Luke Rockhold. And I picked Luke to win that fight, actually. Um... I thought Costa looked all right at moments, but obviously I thought Luke, I was more impressed with Luke being that tired and being able to perform. But at the same time, we don't know, maybe Costa was tired as well. So they both were kind of tired. It was a good scrap. Obviously, fight of the year contender for, I think, 2022. I remember that. Uh, it was awesome. Very heartache moment for a Rocco fan uh, like myself. I got his poster up. Uh, there, no, not there. there. There, there, right here, right here. <laughs> I was kind of struggling, y'all. I was struggling, but yeah, man. Uh, I, it was a great fight, but obviously, uh, Costa didn't look like the guy that fought Yoel Romero, right? Um, and then against Pretori, he didn't look that great. And then obviously, gets out of science to get humped by that man. It, uh, kills me, man. It kills me, man. It kills me. But hey, it is what it is. Um, but at the end of the day, man, in terms of resumes, obviously. I would say Robert Whitaker has the better resume. Uh, notable re notable wins, obviously. Um, Marvin Vittori, Kelvin Gossam, Jared Kennedy, Darren Till. 
the Yoel Romero uh, fights, uh, Jock Roy Souza, Derek Brunson, Uriah Hall, Brad Tavares. Obviously, he's been some really good guys. Um, and, and, and in Paulo Costa's case, I mean, he hasn't beat the best guys, but he's competed against some good guys, uh, and he's beaten some really great fighters. I mean, obviously, Yoel Romero, Luke Rockle, Uriah Hall, Johnny Hendricks, and then he has those losses to Marvin Vittori and Israel Adesanya. Um, so, so yeah, um, but in terms of the tail of the tape, obviously, let's get into that. I almost forgot to get into that. Uh, Robert Whitaker comes with a record of 24 and 7. Uh, is fighting out of Australia, age 33, a height of 6 foot, and it reaches 73.5. Paulo Costa comes with a record of 14 and 2. Uh, is fighting out of Brazil, age 32, a height of 6 1, and it reaches 72. Um, so here's the things how I kind of look at the matchup. Um, so on the good side for Robert Whitaker, how I can see him winning, because I do have him losing. Spoiler. I, I, <laughs> You know, you boy eBay. He ain't rocking with Robert Whitaker. Never, ever, ever am I rocking with Robert Whitaker. But um, but here's the thing. So obviously Robert has been more active uh, than Paulo. I mean, I mean Paulo hasn't fought in almost close to two. It's almost he's getting close to two years. Uh, a year and five months. Obviously, it's five months. You know, a few more months to go. But still, I mean, that's a long time not to fight. Uh, I mean. Uh, Rob's fought six months ago and he's been active, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, he has activity on his side. Um, even though getting knocked out isn't good activity, but still he has activity on his side. Um, Robert is obviously the touch and go kind of fighter. And we've seen guys like Adesanya give, uh, Paulo Costa problems with that touch and go kind of style. Um, the high kick is going to be a big problem for Paulo Costa to overcome. We've seen when Adesanya threw his high kick at him, he kind of faltered. Um, Robert's really good at picking at you, getting in a way, mixing the arts. You know, obviously, I don't think he's going to take down Costa, but he obviously he will throw the thread of it. And uh, Robert's always able to put on a master class on some of the best guys in the world. I mean, the Cannoneer performance was probably one of his best performances, I mean, in a long time. Uh, he looked flawless there. So, obviously, we know what he can do and obviously the things he can present. But in my humble opinion, I don't think that's going to matter. Uh, the reach um, advantage isn't big, 73.5. We all know Robert Whitaker have T-Rex arms. Um, even though he likes to use his jab a lot and likes to fight as if he's a long fighter, he, 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 he's not long. I mean, and also he has a compromised chin, so he can't go forward and be a, you know, a bull. Um, Paulo Costa is super tough. Yeah, I know he Adesanya destroyed him, right? But besides that, I mean, um, he's taken bombs from Yoel Romero. He's taken straight shots from Luke Rockhold to his chin. He's taken shots from Marvin Torrey. I know Marvin has pillow, <laughs> pillow fist, but still, he's taking those shots. Um, he's taking shots from Uriah Hall. Like, he can take a punch uh, to give a punch. And I just think he's going to walk him down. I mean, you just saw the body work that Drickus Duplass put on Robert Whitaker, broke him down. And I think Paulo Costa is going to do the same. I, I really do think he's going to put this dude in the dirt. And the Weeper, I, you heard the Weeper fans are going to cry again because baby pack watch is coming soon. Maybe part two for Robert Whitaker, but for sure, it will be a special pack watch because I'm telling you, Marab Davis really, Ian Gary, and featuring Robert Whitaker for. Two <laughs> for two, baby, because you're done, son. All right, I, I got Paulo Costa getting him out of there in uh, the second round via body work, and I think he breaks him down. I think Robert Whitaker is done. He's done, okay? He's done. Um, and uh, Paulo Costa is gonna get him out of there. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for the fight. Um, I think it's gonna be a phenomenal fight, but. That's your breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love y'all and goodbye. Go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Like, comment, share the video. Let's get this eBay fight prediction nation. I'm going to go check that out. And, uh, hey, subscribe to eBay's fight prediction. Let's keep the eBay fight predictions nation growing.